So here I am on set of one of my epic intros. Oh, let's get this thing unboxed. So what I'm looking for in this box is a decent replica, representation of the real steel and of course what this soldier is holding. Oh, that looks really good. Okay, so what do we get in the box? So, let's start obviously with the main attraction itself, you get the Accuracy International Inspired Sniper Rifle. But in this case, the MB-08A, there's your barrel along the bottom. What accessories do we get? Well, let's start with speed loader, and in there is a couple of Allen keys, cool. Obviously, you get an instruction manual with instructions of how to assemble it, and basic, Operator instructions. And I think I can see a bipod, let's get that out. Yeah, nice little basic bipod, which I believe should be spring loaded. Let's have a quick look. Ah, oh, yeah, oh, nice. And we also get a nice little scope. Let's have a quick look at that. Because, believe it or not, I'm not gonna use this. I've got another scope of mine that I'd prefer to use on this bad boy right here, so, uh, Let's have a quick look at this. I'm not saying this is a terrible, terrible, terrible scope. This is a nice little, relatively speaking, basic, good enough scope if you're an occasional sniper. However, those that really know me know it's all about looks with me as well. So this nice little basic scope, but it just doesn't cut it for me. I need something bigger, much bigger. <laughs> so yeah. I know this one does have a sunshade on it, but it is an overall bigger scope look. Okay, I just think it would look so much better and so much cooler on this bad boy. So I'll be installing this on this sniper rifle. But for the purpose of this unboxing, let me put that to one side and keep the one that you get in the package in shot. Right, what else do we get? I can see you've got a sling. Yeah, it's nice that they've included one, but this thing is heavy, and I just don't think this will stand up to the pressure. So, um, get yourself a decent sling. And um, what have we got here? We've got a little white box here. Now, this should be the mounts for that included scope. Yes, it is. Now, obviously, I don't need it because the my own personal scope that I want to put on there already has mounts. But yeah, you get some mounts. Okay, so before we get to the sniper rifle itself, what else do we get? Ew! Can you see what I can see? Ah, three BBs. Get out. Get, go, go. Get out of it. Okay, so what else? Well, that's it. Now we get to the rifle itself. There's the magazine. <laughs> so this piece on its own, this polymer section right here, it's not heavy at all, that's nice and light. But I have been reading, overall, it is a heavy sniper rifle. Oh, and look, there's your unjamming rod. Yeah, it's not got that bit in the end, you know the bit that I, anyway. Ah, okay, ha! This is where all the weight is. The barrel and the bolt assembly. Right, so let's get this thing together. Then we're gonna have a look at all the features, have a nice up close and personal look at this thing because it looks so awesome and it looks so much like the real steel. Then we're gonna have it chronoed. We'll do a little accuracy test, but hey, don't really rely on the accuracy test because I don't have a big enough property to be able to go far enough, okay, to do a true accuracy test with this, but we'll do a little accuracy test anyway. And I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna kick this out so it's personal or personalized to me. So you already know I'm gonna put my own scope on it, but I'm also going to put something else. And I'll show you that a little later. Right, so the first thing I need to show you is that 
it needs two big bolts or two big screws to enable to put this together. The great thing is they're already within the sniper rifle. There's one there and there's one there and they simply go in here and there. It's as simple as that. So you just drop this into the receiver. Then you grab the biggest Allen key that you're supplied with and tighten it up. And look, it's taken shape already. Looks absolutely awesome. Now, this is your more affordable end of the sniper world, but in terms of looks, come on. I put them right up there with the best of them. In terms of looks. So you've got a nice platform right there that looks like the real deal. And it's up to you if you want to upgrade it. But I've read plenty of reviews saying it's a pretty decent sniper rifle out of the box. Now, I've also read that some people say they've bought this and then within a game or so, the safety switch is broken or there's issues with the hop up or there's this or that. You know, at the end of the day, I've seen more positive reviews about this than negative, but I feel it's only fair to tell you some of the negatives that I've read. But the proof of the pudding is in the eating, if you know what I mean. Okay, as I've said before, that's the scope that came with this package and you can get a pretty good idea. Let's turn it around. Um, yeah, what it will look like when installed on the rifle. But let me just go ahead and put the one on that I really want on. Come on, you've got to agree. Nice. Now another great thing about this Well MB08A is that you've got more than one way to attach a bipod. Now the bipod that you get supplied with it, you would attach it right here on this little rail system. But if you've got a higher end bipod, or should I say a different type of bipod mounting system, you would attach it right here. <laughs> Look at it. I like it. I like it a lot. Anyway, how cool does this look so far? But you know what? It's still missing something right here. Now imagine a suppressor on the end of that bad boy right there. Now the only way you're going to be able to do that with this particular model is that you need to remove this end cap, you need to buy a special kind of adapter which will allow you to install a suppressor. And after a long online struggle of a search I was able to find that PPS makes said adapter and this is it. I'll put more details in the video description below. Come on, how tactical does that look? With my upgraded scope, slap a suppressor on the end. Oh my gosh, loving the look of this. Now, those of you with eagle eyes will know that yes, this is made to look like a suppressor, but it's actually the Ace Tech AT1000 tracer unit. But for this purpose and for its looks, it's a suppressor and when you put a suppressor on a well MB08A I just think it makes it look just that bit better. Okay so let's go through some of the spec of this epic looking sniper rifle. Now as I've mentioned before the actual stock the receiver is all polymer but it's a nice strong sturdy polymer. It's not flimsy, it's not plasticky. Everything else is metal, so your fluted barrel, your bipod, your rail system, 
certain parts like here, your sling points, your rail, your bolt handle, your bolt assembly, your sling point, the point where you can fold the stock, the point where you can adjust your cheek rest and your monopod, they're all also metal. So let me show you how to adjust your cheek rest. Just like the real thing, you just loosen these two screws right here. Grab hold of your cheek rest. You can raise it up to whatever you want it to be. I'm gonna put mine down just a little bit may have to readjust it if I feel this is too high or too low. But for the purpose of this video, we'll just leave it like this. You just tighten these back up. And that's your cheek rest adjusted. And at the back right here, you have your monopod. Bring it down as far as you like. And when you finish with it, see that little button right there? You just press it and it will go back in. Nice. Okay, so there's one or two more things I'd like to show you about this sniper rifle that I think is pretty cool. Look at the butt pad. It's got a nice checkered rubberized butt pad, which is also adjustable. And it's got its own serial number. And then if I flip it around on this side, just behind the bolt, you've got your safety. And there's also a safety incorporated within the trigger. Does that remind you of a particular pistol? <laughs> so just like that infamous pistol, if you accidentally pull the trigger anywhere other than on that central piece right there, the trigger will not engage. What I really want to test out is the bolt action. I just love the whole motion of up, <laughs> pull back, push forward, push it down. Oh my gosh. So much more better than a fidget spinner. But before I can get into the bolt action, we've got to get this magazine loaded. So this magazine is constructed out of metal. So this portion right here, metal, this bit, plastic. And to load it with BBs, you simply push down this plastic bit and that reveals your magazine lip. Now I believe I've put about 10 in there. It is a double stack mag, as you can see but it takes up to 30 rounds. And to load it into your sniper rifle, you simply slot it in with the BB section pointing forwards, and then you're good to go. Okay, I know before you say it, the chrono machine is at a funny angle. It's not at its usual straight on to the camera angle. And the reason for that is I am literally laying on the floor. So the tripod and camera, I had to push it to the side, push it all the way up and have it look down on the chrono machine. Okay, let's do this. Whoa, hold on. 253. Wait. Ah, oh, come on, something's not right here. This is a sniper rifle. Okay, so I've had to hold the video there and I just thought about something. Do you remember when I unboxed this, it was sealed, okay? So the Airsoft retailer, generally they don't rip these seals open when they're properly sealed by the manufacturers. Now normally, airsoft retailers do test these things before sending them out. What's happened here is, this is the model for the Asia market, okay? The Asian market. So, you know in Japan, there's only so high you can go with FPS limits. I reckon this is a model that was destined for that part of the world and it's made its way here in Europe, the UK. So I think there's a little inhibitor or something in there that stops it doing its true FPS capabilities. So I'm gonna open it up, see if I can see it. I cut the video, and if it is what I think it is, I'll quickly show you what it is, just in case you ever come across this issue. Hold on, Airsoft mic, Airsoft hack, incoming. Right, so let me show you what the issue is right there. Can you see right there by my thumb? 
Okay, that little hole, that hole should be bigger than that. And the reason being is that that little piece is inserted in there for these sniper rifles that are going to end up in like Japan and places like that where their FPS limits by law are a lot lower than anywhere else. So somehow, even though I bought this from a European airsoft retailer, somehow they ended up with a batch <laughs> that should have gone to Japan and co sort of thing, yeah? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove that tiny little thing and it's so easy to do. Sometimes you can just do it by your fingernail or you can just get a little screwdriver because you can put a little flathead screwdriver in there, unscrew it, and that's the size hole it should be. So I'm gonna put it back together and I almost guarantee the FPS is gonna at least hit over 400. So I've now just made this a sniper rifle for the UK, USA and most other places, <laughs> it's off market, and it's no longer one for the Japanese market. Now when you're trying to put the bolt back in, you'll see there's a little black piece right there that will stop it from going in. You see that? So all you have to do is push that down. I believe that's the trigger sear. You can use this. You can just sort of like encourage that to get out of the way, <laughs> okay? There you go. I've got it past it, you see? And now your bolt can go in. Push that back in. Put this back together. I've already shown you how to do this, so I'll just cut the video here and we'll get straight back to the chrono test. Okay. <laughs> Take two. Let's chrono this bad boy. So now that inhibitor has been removed, again, I'm looking at at least 350 to 400 FPS. Oh, hell yeah! Another Airsoft mic hack! Two more. Beautiful. I am so pleased I was able to do that little hack. And now this thing, to me, is perfect. <laughs> so do remember, if you get this and that happens to you, you're getting a very low FPS reading. You need to remove that regulator or inhibitor that I showed you, and then it's at its full capacity. But it doesn't end there. You can upgrade this even further to give you 500 plus FPS. Right, so let's do a little accuracy test. As I said before, it's a very close range accuracy test, which defeats the whole purpose really of a sniper rifle. You need to be, you know, as a sniper, you need to be somewhere far so that you can covertly snipe your airsoft enemies. But yeah, just for the giggles, we do a quick accuracy test and I'm expecting this to be extremely accurate to the point where I'm not even gonna use the bipod. I'm gonna hold it freehand in my hand like that and aim at this target. And because of the long barrel and the fact that it's a sniper rifle, it should be more accurate than anything else I've ever tested in this range. Now that's a bold statement. Now if you look here, very small targets. You can see the size of my finger practically covers up these little targets, especially these ones. Uh, it's not that my finger is fat, it's the glove. And if you can read up here, this says pistol, that says rifle, that says sniper. So it means I have to aim for these.
I have to say, I am very impressed. I haven't even zeroed in the scope with this rifle yet. And this is proof right now. Yes, we were only about 40 feet away, but I've never had a result. I think the closest thing to this would have been that Desert Eagle by Wee Cybergun. Even though I was just off that target there, which is tiny, look how tiny that is, it consistently hit the same place and I didn't have it on the bipod. So that shows you how accurate this rifle is at a certain distance. So there you go people, this is the Well MB-08A Sniper Rifle. If you would like more info about this, a bit more spec and what available upgrades there are for this to make it even more awesome, just hit the video description below. I'll also show you the prices, whether you're in the UK, the USA, Canada, Germany, France, Russia, Poland, no matter where you are, I'll try my best to get most of the price ranges down there in the video description. And I'll have a list of airsoft retailers that stock this. But take note, some retailers list this as the Well L96, but make sure you look for the one with the foldable stock, if that's your thing. But the actual name is the Well MB-08A.